Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Conventicle bringing you guys some more 2007 old school RuneScape. For this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of the new content poll that was released with the Brains Over Brawn competition. So basically, if you don't know what that is, is there are player design suggestions for updates for the game. And also besides that, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the new Wilderness update that they plan on adding to the game. So. The first thing is the Wilderness update, and they have done a lot of progress already on the new Lava Dragons, the God Wars Dungeon, and some of the new bosses such as the Bear, and also the new Dragon Axe. So let's get into the Lava Dragons first. As you can see in the picture here, they look pretty sick, and if you don't know what these are going to be, basically they're going to be kind of like harder red dragons and they're going to be located where the red dragons are in the wilderness now and i think they're going to be replacing the red dragons there and i don't know where they're going to put the red dragons because there's probably going to be another spot where they're going to need to put red dragons because where else are you going to get red dragon hide from so it would be nice if they could add the red dragons in a more convenient spot and have these lava dragons also be like efficient to kill because Basically, these lava dragons are going to drop bones that give you more prayer XP than regular dragon bones. And then also, they are going to be adding this God Wars dungeon expansion. And in this dungeon, you're going to be able to get a good amount of resources, such as adamant bars noted from the aviancies located there. The next thing is that they've been working on the new bosses that I'm extremely excited about, and these are supposed to apparently be really hard kind of like the King, King Black Dragon, but maybe a little harder, I'm not too sure yet. And also, these monsters are supposed to be able to drop a Dragon Pickaxe, which can also be seen in a picture on screen. I honestly like this kind of retro look of the Dragon Pickaxe, but apparently they're going to change it maybe a little. And also, they have been working on this new rune altar thing but to be honest it looks kind of like a waste of an update i don't really think anybody's going to be using it because you can only really use um spells such as high alking with that and who's going to go to the wilderness to high elk and also you cannot even get magic xp off of using this um rune altar so i really kind of think of it as a waste of effort for an update for the game but let's get into the major part of this video which is the new player suggestions for the game so first of all there are eight of jagex favorite ideas being pulled right now and you can go vote on it but for this video i'm only going to be talking about five of them because i believe they're only going to take the top five voted suggestions and actually work on implementing them into the game and also these are the five that i like the most and also they are all the highest voted suggestions so the first one is the mother load mine and essentially what this is going to be is sort of like the rooftop agility but for mining and mining is a pretty dead skill in this game nobody really likes to do it and it's a very tedious task so basically like i said it's going to be kind of like the rooftop agility but for mining and what you're going to do is under falador kind of near the mining guild and maybe part of the mining guild because i think you should have to have like 60 mining in order to use this mini game um basically what it is going to be is you go into this mine and there are random veins that you can mine from and it's not like any specific ore it's just random so once you mine this you get a pile of pay dirt and what you do with this is you bring it to a place where you can wash it and you eventually have it turned into an ore of anything from coal to runite and the higher level ore it is the more rare it is to get so this should probably be good mining xp and also from these pay dirt piles you can get these things called gold nuggets which are kind of like the marks of grace from the agility um courses and you use these as rewards and you can kind of get like a lumberjack suit but for mining so you're gonna have an increase in mining if you wear this armor so the second idea is called the potion enhancer and what you do with this is you can make a sort of brewery in your player owned house workshop and the higher construction level you have the better kind of brewery you can make 
and these breweries allow you to enhance your potions but this is not um allowed to use these potions in pvp and also i think maybe it would just be a better idea just to not allow you to enhance combat potions and instead just make it for skilling potions like fishing and stuff like that so basically what you do in order to make these potions is add some ingredients like maybe an extra guam to it and depending on the kind of work bench or whatever brewery you have it will increase your potion by say like 20 to 50 percent like I said depending on what kind of brewery you, brewery you have and how high your construction level is and this also levels herb lore and also in order to enhance these potions you're going to need 10 to 20 levels over the required um, level to actually make the potion so it gives you a reason to level herb lore more the next thing is something called campfires and actually I was also thinking of sort of a bonfire idea for this game because fire making is probably the most pointless skill ever in RuneScape 2007. So basically with this idea you're going to need about 4 of any type of log but they all have to be the same log. And also you may need sort of a kindling item that they may add to the game if this update is released in order to start the campfire. So basically what you do at these campfires is if you're near it then it will be able to increase your run energy or boost some other stats. So I like this idea and it kind of gives a point into actually making fires in this game. The fourth idea has to do with fire making also and it's called flaming arrows. So basically with this you make fire arrows and they're able to temporarily paralyze your opponent so kind of like freeze them like magic but instead with range. And in order to make these flaming arrows, you're going to need a certain tool. And you can make bronze arrows um, lit with fire at level 30 fire making, all the way up to level 90 fire making with dragon arrows. And this kind of gives you a reason to PvP with arrows instead of bolts. So I think this is a pretty decent suggestion, but there's not too much detail for it. And the last idea, which is my personal favorite, is called Construction Shortcuts. And I like this because it gives people who are just average players a reason to level construction past level 50 unless they want to make their own gilded altars. And also it allows you to get from place to place faster instead of having to teleport or something like that. So with this idea what you do is create small bridges and ladders in order to get over rivers and hills and stuff like that by using planks, steel bars, and other construction items. And I'm hoping the construction shortcuts that you create don't deteriorate after you use it one time because it's going to be a pain and nobody's going to want to do it if you have to bring these items in order to create it every time you want to use the shortcut because it's going to be a large waste of money which construction on its own already is. But that is basically what you do with the construction shortcuts and some places where they might be adding them are from the Lumbridge Swamp over to the Calphite Queen Lair and also maybe over the lava rivers that surround the Red Dragon Isle in the wilderness so maybe when it's replaced with lava dragons then it's going to be an efficient way to escape or enter there because there are probably going to be a lot of PKers there. So that's my overview of the updates that they plan on adding to the game and other news I managed to get rune gloves on my account which is pretty pathetic as an actual accomplishment for me but uh, for me personally actually it is a good accomplishment because I am absolutely atrocious at quests. I cannot do the simplest ones without messing up like three times and it usually takes me an hour more than it should for the average person because I cannot just follow these simple tasks without messing up but anyways um, that's about it for the video. If you enjoyed, then please give a thumbs up on it. And if you have anything to say about these updates um, and any opinions, then please leave them in the comments section below. I read all my comments and I do respond to most of them. If you want to see any more videos from me, then please subscribe. And I'll see you guys later in my next video if you are subscribed. Peace.